What is good, YouTube Nation? Today we're going over the Arizona Cardinals zone beating formation, and today we have a very interesting video for you. Format's going to be a little uh, better. Uh, we're going over the Arizona Cardinals zone beating formation. We're going to be coming out in the base formation, which we will break down probably tomorrow. Uh, we're getting we're getting close to that time to being almost complete with the scheme. Now I'm just going to come out in a dime flat, and that way I can access every zone coverage in the game. So I'm going to come out and cover four. Now. We start out in spread, and we go down to L1 Audible. Let's just go into the pause menu real quick. I apologize, but let's show you the play. Now, the play is this gun. It's from the Gun Bunch Week, and it's the Mesh Post. Now, there's a couple things. You, you could use the mesh with the corner route, but I like the post route a little better because it's a little more of an easier progression read. But if you want to run just regular mesh, you can. It's the same concept. It's just with a corner route instead of a post route. Those are the two plays I suggest. Um, there's a ton of other ways we can beat zone, but in my opinion, Bunch is probably the overall pound-for-pound -pound best zone beating formation in the game. So, we audible down to Mesh Post. As you see, Josh Morgan is misaligned. And let's go ahead and just base align. Let me show you what happens. As you see, when we base align this, he's way outside. So, even when we don't base align, we have this miss, kind of, kind of miss, misalignment here. Let's show you from the defense here. Now, what that means is Morgan's route is going to get a little speed burst. So, if we put him on a streak, you see how he gets that little speed burst uh, thing kind of going there. So, against man coverage, that's going to be more effective. That's why we have it uh, in case we need a man read, in case we make a misread pre-snap. But, you have that streak. You could run a drag or a streak. It doesn't matter. But, I like to go ahead and zig Hankerson instead of... Um, instead of dragging him. And your first read on this play is going to be this snap and throw to your running back here to see if there's a flat defender. If there's no flat defender, that route is going to be wide open. It's also a really good blitz beating formation as well, this uh, gun, this play from here from mesh post. So you just run your sta our standard setup here. And your next read on this play is going to be um, your boy Santana Moss coming over the middle. That's going to beat every zone in the game. Every single, there will not be a zone, a stock zone coverage that will cover the drag route. You'll have to spy people, and then you could just wait for it to pass the spy. And then the next read on this play is going to be, as you guessed, the zig route coming across the right side of the field. Basically, two uh, quick hitting routes over the middle of the field there. And then your last read is going to, or your next read will be your streak to see what's going on there. So you look one, two. Pass to the inside, and you have to click on and make a user catch on again zone coverage. Man coverage, you shouldn't have to click on. So we'll show you man coverage in a second. And then your final read is going to be the uh, post route with the pass lead down into the inside, and you should be able to catch that. Uh, that yellow should suck down like right there, as you see it is wide open over the middle with the yellow sucking down. Now let's run this against man coverage and show you what I was talking about with the streak from the mesh post. We're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and press coverage here and we're going to show you see how he's to the inside edge inside position here. That means that that streak's going to be open at the snap of the ball. So snap, throw, and with the pass lead down into the inside we have a streak wide open. We don't even have to click on that. It's going to be wide open every single time it gets man coverage which is why it's a quick snap read so that you can easily read man zone coverage and snap the ball. And then the next read against man coverage is that we just progress. It's the same reads. Pass lead down to the inside to the mesh route, or to the mesh route, to the wheel route from the running back, and that's going to get wide open against man coverage as well. So you have two quick man beaters on this play that you're reading, and then you also have some plays, uh, some routes to the right side of the field, which beat man coverage. Now, real quick, one of those routes is going to be this uh, zig route to Hankerson. You're going to have to pass lead that to the outside, but it will get open against man coverage probably 9 out of 10 times. Uh, you just want to make sure you're looking first. The drag route on the left side of the field will not get open against man coverage. The man coverage has the inside position, so they won't get open, but the post route will get open. Pass lead down to the inside, and it'll get some separation there as you see it. So, that pretty much does it for the mesh post play. And let's go over the quick audibles to show you guys what's going on from that. Your quick audible up, you have spacing. All we're going to do with this play, this is a very common play that we ran this year, is I'm going to put Morgan on the out route and I'm going to streak Santana Moss. Or you could also drag him. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I probably would drag more than streak, actually, now that I think about it. But you can kind of do whatever with that. 
And your first read here is going to be Hankerson to the flats. As you see, to the flats, it's going to be open quick almost every time out of this formation because of the way the formation is aligned. You have some quick flat routes that have an opportunity to be open against zone coverage. Against man coverage, I wouldn't throw those uh, those out, those uh, routes. Now, your next read on this play is going to be circle. And as you see here, the purple route will go with that. And then circle is just going to sit in a nice little spot against zone coverage, kind of just digging in and uh, making a quick play and for whatever reason the controller goes crazy again so um, your next read on this play is going to be your drag route to Santana Moss it'll be a late read it's going to be a little later on in the play these are all quick easy reads which is what I love about this play snap read that side of the field it's not open okay we're going to go to the, met, or the little drag route over the middle okay and then your final read you'll have a kind of a curl flat concept uh, it's not exactly curl flats because it's, um, you know, it's not a default flat route or whatever. But Morris's route will suck the purples down. I'm pretty sure, and I know the drag route right, will once it gets over. So you see, kind of covers it. So if they go with that, then you're just going to go to the flat route to Morris. It just depends on what the defense does because sometimes the defense will go with the flat route and not go to the out route. You just have to make sure you're making those reads. And if you want to make it a little easier, just put him on a fade. And then you, if you have a good user catch skill, go ahead and user catch that. But here, uh, your final read will be Alfred Morris uh, on this little block and release. As you see, the drag works as this little screen for him to kind of get some space there. So that's what we're doing mainly from that play. Let's show you it real quick against man coverage. It's not as effective. I'm um, gonna be real honest, but all you're looking at here, it really, all that's going to be really open is the uh, the route to Morgan, I'm pretty sure. You see, you have the flat route still because it's a man. It's an assignment switch with the drag works kind of like that. So the dude's going to the dude's gonna be late getting out there. But it's just kind of, I don't know, it's not consistent. And it's easy to adjust out of, which is why I don't run this play that much. But you see this little hitch route is going to get intercepted against man coverage. So that's why this play is more of a zone beater. That's why this formation is more of a zone beater in general. But if you do read man, you have that little flat route, and you also have the out route to the left side of the field. Uh, that should be wide open with a, no pass, just a bullet pass. Like right there, uh, as you see it, wide open. But those are the main routes that will be open against man coverage. And then you could play maker or a drag route if you have time in the pocket. So that does it for the quick pass. Let's move on to the deep pass audible. The deep pass audible from Bunch is probably one of the best plays in Madden. It's the verticals play. This play has been around for a long time. And all we're going to do with this play is you're just going to... Uh, you can do whatever you want with the running back. And we're just going to create curl flats. We're going to use a fade this time instead of an out route. And we're going to take Santana Moss's route and zig him. Or drag him, but I like to zig because we've been dragging him from the other plays. Now, your first read on this play is that route right there to Hankerson. Um, that's your first read. With a pass lead to the inside, it should be every coverage in the game. They're going to have to use the bunch side. Now, once they start doing that, your next read is going to be the pass lead to the right side of the field. Uh, your circle receiver will be wide open. Okay, this is all against zone right now. We're just playing a zone coverage. And then the read after that, these basically you're just reading the three bunch receivers. And I bumped the wrong button. You're basically just reading the bunch receivers here. And guys, videos will be a little bit uh, less be honest lately while I have some time here but your next read is going to be the zig route right there you see how it's going to basically sit in a little pocket against his own coverage it's not really going to be covered and then your last read is your left then you go to the left side of the field if all else fails go to your fade and user catch that um, that's usually what I'll be doing uh, as far as against coverage D or whatever with a pass lead uh, you have to user catch that and you guys know Check out the user catch video. I'll try to put a link to that in the description. Now against man coverage, this play is really simple. We run it the same exact way. Uh, the pass leads are just different. So, same setup. 
Uh, and now R1, as you see, with a pass lead to the right side of the field, he'll be wide open against man every single time. Now the problem with this is you, re you can begin to rely on this route, and if they run a coverage D or they use her that side of the field, then you could be in trouble. Then your next read is going to be circle, the pass lead up, and you have to go inside and user catch, as you see, sometimes you'll get that. So you just need to be aware of that. You need to make sure you're confident with your user catch game, if you will. And then this is it's the same it's the same read against man and the same pass leads on the left side of the field. So I'm not even going to go over those. So uh, I got to run, guys. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. And um, if you guys liked it, uh, go ahead and uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for more tips. If you guys uh, are from the channel and you're watching this, go ahead and give this video a like or a favorite because it helps the video grow, helps more people find the video. And if you guys have any other questions, send me a, a email or inbox, a uh, YouTube inbox, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed the zone beater from the Arizona Cardinals formation, and we'll see you tomorrow.